Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975, and today we are playing another episode of Would You Rather. <laughs> So most of you are typing in the comment section now, Troy, where is the farming sim video, the latest farming sim video? Well, I'm actually at home right now. I'm actually recording this at university, but as you're watching it, I have traveled home for half term. I'm visiting my family. So I didn't have time to make another episode of my farming sim series. But since Would You Rather is uh, quite a popular trend on YouTube, and it is something I have done before that you guys enjoyed. I thought I would do another episode for you. And it is quite simple to create. So today we're going to be playing another episode of Would You Rather. Before we get into the video though. If you are enjoying the content on the channel. It would be awesome if you could subscribe. Quite a lot of you view my content. But you aren't actually subscribed. So if we could boost up that subscriber ratio. It would be absolutely awesome. So let's just get into it with our first question. Would you rather randomly go limp or be deaf? Well, I'm already a little bit deaf. Um, not completely deaf. I can still hear. Um, but I am, like, partially deaf. So, being completely deaf, for me personally, I feel like I'd be more used to that. Um, so, it wouldn't be as much of a shock as it would to be to, uh, to other people. But to randomly go limp, um, that could happen at some very, very bad times. Um, you could be driving down the motorway, your arm goes limp and you steer off the motorway or, you know, there's a number of bad situations where randomly going limp would not be good. Being deaf, you know you're deaf all the time, so you can work around that. So I'm going to say be deaf. Apparently, 73% of people do not agree with me. But uh, the twenty-seven percent of people, I'm with you. Uh, let's go to the next question, though. Would you rather own, be be able to only speak in lol speak, or be able to only speak only er uh, be able to only type in? one three three seven speak i have no idea what either of those are i don't know i don't know i'm gonna skip this one because i honestly don't know what either of those are um would you rather give a speech to the whole nation have to sleep with tarantulas on your bed i'm not afraid of spiders i'll put that out there um so sleeping in the bed with tarantulas uh, I wouldn't be too bothered about that, but I mean, I am a YouTuber, I'm used to making videos like this, so if I had to make a speech to the whole nation, it's not going to be talking to the whole nation, because there's no way you could fit the whole nation, so it would be a live thing like this, is what I'm guessing, it would be a video format, except it would be live, well... That's kind of my dream, you know. I'd love to uh, to make videos for millions of people. So giving a speech to the whole nation, that would not be a big deal to me. So, yeah. 91% of people agree with me on that. Okay, would you rather be 4 feet tall or be 10 foot tall? Um, hmm. I feel like I'm overthinking some of these answers. I apologise if I'm wording it a bit too much, but I have a quite an analytical mind, so I like to analyse the answers a little bit. Now, I'm already quite a tall guy. Um, I'm about six foot five, so I'm quite tall in, in uh, you know, British male terms, I guess. So, for all of you people watching this who are short, being tall is not a good thing. Um, my, I live in quite an old fashioned house, obviously not here at university, but my house where I live at home is very old fashioned, it's a big Victorian house, so all the doors in my house are shorter than I am, which is a real problem 
because I hit my head wherever I go. And I've gotten used to that over the years. But when you go for a pee in the middle of the night, uh, you know, your brain's not quite thinking. It's the middle of the night. You're sleepy. When you hit your head, that is not fun. Um, you have a very good night's sleep after that because you don't wake up for a long time. Uh, so I'm going to go with being four feet tall. To be honest, in my opinion, there's no real disadvantages to being short. Uh, so we'll go with that. It's a pretty close one, to be honest. So there we go. Would you rather be Rosa Parks or Harriet Tubman? I don't know who Harriet Tubman is. Rosa Parks, I believe, was she something to do with, like, the feminist movement, I think? I don't know who Harriet Tubman is. Uh, Rosa Parks, I guess, uh, just because I don't know who Harriet Tubman is. Yeah, again, it's a pretty close one, so... Right, would you rather eat a container of Flintstone vitamins or drink a bottle of Pepto-Bismol? Um... Hmm, I don't think either one of these would necessarily be a bad thing. Um, you might be just... Uh, actually, I think one makes you poop and one blocks you up. <laughs> that sounds really bad, but I'm pretty sure Flintstone vitamins are for when you're constipated. I could be wrong on that. And Pepto-Bismol is like when you can't stop pooping and you drink a bit of Pepto. <sighs> I guess Pepto. A lot of people don't agree with me. I don't really know on that one, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I feel like I don't know a lot of these, so I apologise, but um, I'm doing my best. Right. During a rowdy boxing match, would you rather have a section of your ear bitten off or lose your two front teeth? Well, my two front teeth, these two, are kind of my defining characteristic. So, I think I'd rather have a bit of my ear bitten off. My ears are quite small anyway. So, having a little bit of my ear bitten off would not be a big deal. I don't think that would... Yeah. A lot of people agree with me. Because I'd rather be able to eat food than just not hear a little bit. I already have bad hearing. So, if a bit of my ear is bitten off and I can't hear as good, I'd rather have that than not be able to eat what I want to eat. You know, eating toffee apples is not going to be very easy. Would you rather find one dollar or read a book? Find one dollar. <laughs> that was an easy one. <laughs> I hate reading. Um, while getting ready for the day, would you rather never be able to look in the mirror again? Always get dressed in complete darkness. I mean, when I get ready for the day normally, I don't do it in front of a mirror. You know, I don't put makeup on. I just look this good naturally, you know. Uh, that was terrible. But, um, no, I don't get dressed in front of a mirror. I don't style my hair. You can probably tell that from this, you know. I I've never once combed my hair. I don't put on makeup. You know, I don't do any of these kind of things. All I do is brush my teeth in front of the mirror. And I don't really need the mirror there to brush my teeth. Um, getting dressed in complete darkness, I do that sometimes. So, th this is... While get ready for the day, you'd never be able to look in the mirror. Does that mean you can never look in a mirror again, or only when you're getting ready for the day? Because some there's some situations where looking in a mirror can be quite useful. Like if you've got something in your eye, you can look in the mirror to see if you have something in your eye. I'm gonna go with get dressed in the darkness. Yeah, people agree with me on that. Getting dressed in the darkness is not so bad. I do it quite often, to be quite honest with you. Makes me sound like some kind of weirdo, but, you know, you're running a bit late, you sort of start getting dressed and realise you haven't turned the light on. Am I the only one who's done that? Probably. Um, would you rather have have your fingers become hot dogs forever? Okay. Or have your tears be relatively acidic? That's, that's a weird question. I mean, I know this is would you rather and there's a weird question, but that is just a very strange... That is such a random question. It's not even strange. It's just random. Do you know what I mean? Have your tears be relatively acidic? Well, I'm pretty sure your tears are already a little bit acidic, aren't they? I could be wrong on that. I took biology A-level. I probably should know that. But having your fingers become hot dogs forever... 
that means you wouldn't be able to like like bend your fingers like that. You know, they'd just be like straight all the time, so you couldn't pick stuff up. Um, so, relatively acidic tears, yeah. Everyone agrees with me on that one. Would you rather know everything in your partner's past or know nothing from your partner's past? That is a difficult one. Because if your partner's had a difficult past, then it's not very nice knowing what they've... Well, it kind of... It's not nice knowing what they've gone through, but if you know what you they've gone through then you might be able to comfort them better. But then if you don't know what your partner's gone through, I guess the loophole here is if you know nothing from your partner's past, you can always learn about it, right? It doesn't say anything that your partner can't tell you about their past. Like, in the future, they can't tell you about what they've been through in the past. So, know nothing about my partner's past. Okay, well... Uh, this is definitely a question for me. Would you rather be topless all the time or be pantsless all the time? Now, I'll admit, a lot of the time when I'm in the house, this is this is not a weird... I don't want you guys to think I'm some kind of weirdo. Um, but I, I don't like wearing pants. Um, that sounds really bad now I'm saying it out loud. But, yeah, I don't wear pants quite often. Being topless all the time, you know, I'm not ashamed of my body. I'm a sexy beast. So, being topless all the time wouldn't be that big a deal. I feel like being topless all the time is more socially acceptable. So, this is all the time. So, you're either topless all the time or pantsless all the time. So, that means even in the workplace, even in public, even on job interviews, that kind of thing. Being topless, I feel, would be more socially acceptable than being pantsless. So, for me, I'd rather be pantsless, but for everyone else, I think they'd rather I was just topless. And a lot of people agree with me on that one. Would you rather punch a pilgrim or eat an avocado? Oh, my days. Um, that is... Wow. Whoever thought of this question has got some very dark humour, I have to say. I really don't like avocados. I find them disgusting. Um, but I don't want to punch a pilgrim, so I'll eat an avocado, sure. I, I'll i pretty much eat anything you give me. If you dared me to eat something, I would probably eat that thing. Um, whether I'd enjoy it is a different matter, but I would rather do eat an avocado than punch a pilgrim. Would you rather live an average life and be forgotten in time, or go down in history for something terrible. Well, if you live an average life and you've forgotten, you know, you've lived an average life, you're content with your life, you'll be remembered for a little bit and then forgotten over time. That's sort of, as sad as it sounds, that is quite a normal thing to happen, you know. You, you go through life and over time your friends and family move on. If you go down in history for something terrible, I'm guessing that's kind of like like Hitler or Stalin that kind of thing, where, you know, they're very famous people, but really not for a good reason. Um, but in that situation, you're dead as well. So I'd rather live an average life. I've never wanted an exciting life, I'll be honest. Would you rather attempt to survive a computer uprising, like in Terminator, okay, uh, like Skynet, taking over the world or would you attempt to survive a zombie outbreak like dawn of the dead or i'm guessing like the walking dead that kind of thing um even though i'm a youtuber i am terrible with technology so surviving a computer uh, well it says attempt to survive a computer uprising so i feel like you'd have to be kind of good with computers to survive that to, to a certain degree you know i'm not terrible with computers but i don't think i would have enough survival or computer skills to survive a computer uprising but i do have very good outdoor survivability skills you know i can i can put up a tent i can do a lot better stuff than that you know like i can i can gut a fish and debone a fish, you know, I can light campfires, um, I can make things, you know, I'm, I'm relatively practical, so I feel like 
me personally, I'd be more equipped to survive a zombie apocalypse than a computer uprising apocalypse. So I'm going to go with that one. I also feel like the zombie one, although you got zombies chasing after you, would be more fun. Would you rather be anorexic or be obese? Oh, good Lord. Um, I mean, I love food. I am a big food guy. I mean, I've done mukbang videos here on the channel in the past. Um, I actually have a baking channel on YouTube as well, for those of you who don't know. Um, I don't upload on it anymore, but I used to. So I love baking. I love doing my own cooking. You know, I love going out for meals. I really do love food, and that is something I would not want to give up. But then if you're obese, there's a lot of other things in life that I wouldn't be able to do. I'm already a little bit overweight. I'm not obese, but, you know, I'm, I've am i got a little bit of pushing in the cushion, if that makes sense. So if you were anorexic, you, I guess you could, you could, over time, you could start to eat more food. You know, you could overcome that. If you're obese, you'd have to lose weight. It means you'd have to give up eating certain foods, which I wouldn't want to do. So I guess I would go with being anorexic. Yeah. That was a hard question, you guys. That was uh, that was really difficult. Uh, would you rather wear a Barney costume for the rest of your life or have to eat a bowl of cereal and mustard every morning? So is that mustard on the cereal, I'm guessing? I've had ketchup on my cereal. I'm not weird. I just like ketchup a lot and I wanted to try it. I had ketchup on chocolate and it was quite nice so i thought what does uh, ketchup on frosties taste like it was not good i wouldn't recommend it so i would stay clear of the eating a bowl of cereal with mustard wear a barney costume i don't know what that is i don't know what a barney costume is but i would not want to eat the cereal with the mustard so i'm going with the barney costume please tell me what the barney costume is would you rather have the feeling of being kicked in the testicles for 12 hours a day or never, ever, I think that's supposed to be never be able to produce healthy children. I think every guy's been kicked in the testicles at least once in their life. Um, it's a very horrible feeling. The, the only way I can describe it is kind of like having um, an alien egg hatching in your penis. Or in your testicles. That that's the only way I could describe it. I don't know why, but it it feels like there's something growing, which <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. That is a terrible thing, but um, I feel like after a while that feeling would go away. You know, if you've got, a, it's a very strange thing with the human body. But if you have constant pain, it will hurt initially, but over time uh, the human brain actually forgets about the pain it's a very strange thing but that, that's kind of what happened so i feel like eventually the pain from this would disappear but never being able to produce healthy children um i mean i would like children one day um but i guess you could always adopt um or you could get a donor or something so i would go with this one and most people agree with me yeah um last one here oh my lord <laughs> This is a very bad one to end on. I am not a very politically minded person, but would you rather live under communism or live under capitalism? Well, I, I live in the UK now, um, so I live under capitalism now. I'd like to live in America in the future, which is a very strongly capitalist uh, nation. Yeah, I, I don't know about communism. Um, it's quite a hard question to answer because I feel like whichever one of these you grew up in, you're going to lean to more towards that one. So if you grew up under communism, you'd probably answer communism um, because you'd be used to it and, you know, people don't like change. I live under capitalism and I would not want to give up you know, the freedom of, of money and buying whatever you want, spending it however you want. So I'd go under, live under capitalism. Most people agree with me there. 
That's going to do it for this video, though. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Would You Rather. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Now, I apologize that there wasn't a farming sim episode today, but hopefully that will return next week. Otherwise, we'll have another episode of Would You Rather for you. That's going to do it for today's video though, thanks all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.